channel yes so in today's video i'm just going to be talking about different things handling crushes plus falling in love plus love languages okay let's get right into the video the first thing i'm going to be talking about is dealing with crushes how do we handle crushes yeah so the first point is be honest about your feelings yeah admit you are crushing on this person and crush is not love some people might be mistaking it yeah crushing on somebody is not loving the person you might be crushing on someone but you might not love the person you might just be attracted to his physical attributes but later when you find out more about this person trust me you are not in love with that person so number one be honest with your feelings number two talk to god about the feeling let God direct you. If it's the right person for you, God will let you know. But if he's not, he's not even going to come and say hello girl or hello boy. Or the person is not even going to come your way. Or even if you ask the person how the person might be telling you that. So if the person is not the right person for you, move away from it, move on with your life. You will definitely find someone. You don't want to remember the person again. You can delete the person's number, delete the person's pictures videos from your phone so you can think about your life you can just delete the person from your brain from your memory and move away from anything that has to do with the person so you can delete the person videos the pictures delete everything that has to do with the person if you are struggling to move on from the person you are crushing on so you just have to delete everything that has to do with the person and then next point is um if you are still thinking about the person do things that will distract you is it that you go and pray is it that you go with your friends is it that you watch movies with your friends or watch movies with your learn is it that you go out stroll just distract yourself in yeah i know it might not be easy but you just have to move on from the person so that would be all about hand crushes here yeah. and if you have some other points that I may not have mentioned you can just comment it in the comment section below and I'll also take it into action because every one of us one we the other might have crushed on somebody and we ought to learn how to move on from the person. So the next topic is falling in love. Yes yeah, so yeah we might fall in love as one point in our life we are no more babies i think we are now teenagers we're in our 20s and we want to know whether to fall in love falling in love how to stay in love and i'll be listing some things yeah the first point is if you think you love this person and you people really want to go along or you people want to start a relationship the first point is get to know the person yeah you have to get to know the person first you can't just say oh i love this person then boom you want to jump into a relationship no get to know the person first be friends with the person know the person's values the differences you guys have and you have to work towards it you have to learn different things about the person they likes and they don't what the person might dislike like i said earlier the value yeah things they value things they like things they dislike what they like to do later on in their life their future plans everything the next point is after after getting to know the person you guys can have conversation of whether to move to the next stage which is getting into relationship dating whatever whatever you might want to call it yes yeah, so you people have conversations if you people think okay i can flow with this person i and this person can flow and this person have things in common and trust me if you people have conversations you won't have any problem in your relationship and number three is if you guys have issues learn to agree and admit that you have wronged the other person yeah admit that you've wronged the other person by telling the person that oh. 
<laughs> okay, be like Messi, I don't like what you did and if Messi isn't ready to admit, I think we should just move past him and later on we'll call the person that okay, girl or boy, I don't like what you did and the person will apologize and we should just forget about it. The next point is let go. If you think okay, your partner has offended, you just let go, forget about it and if he does it again, just call him into just call his attention to it and tell him that you've done this before and I've overlooked it. I don't like it. So, and the person will change. Next point of staying in love is um, go out with the person, have fun together, you know, get to know their friends, their families. If that's possible, if the person wants you to meet the family, you should meet the family. But if if the person just wants to take one step at a time, it's fine and it's special. So lastly is all the person, the plans you have for your future. If you feel comfortable talking about it, let the person know what you want to go into in the future, what you like to do. Because I learned that some men don't like career women. And I don't know, so just tell the person that okay, I'd like to be a career woman or how I'd like to be working or I want to go into business, anything. If the partner is comfortable with me, fine. If it's not you, people just have to sit down and talk about it. So that would be all. And if you also have some things to add to it, just let me know in the comment section. So the last one is love languages. Yeah, I know some people do really what love languages are. I think that's bad. So I'll be listing four love languages that i know the first one is um words of affirmation yeah hey what of affirmations are i love you or i miss you or say telling the person sweet things making the person happy because when you affirm somebody it's always put smiles on their faces so learn to give your partners or your friends words of say some words of affirmations to them because this is not just about romantic relationships or anything it's also have to do with our friendships with our friends both male and female so and the next point is give them gifts here yeah. buy your friends gifts exchange gifts give them gifts if you want to not just only during the special occasions or during their birthdays or valentine's or christmas just okay you are just passing by you saw something that you like or your friend might like Oh, this person I like this just buy it for the person and trust me you put a smile on somebody's face so the next point is spend quality time with the person spend quality time with your friends your partners spend quality time with people you genuinely care about and trust me by doing that you're putting a smile on your faces and some of us we don't like sharing our friends we don't like sharing people that we care about so, when we spend quality time with them, they'll be sure that okay, this person doesn't have another person aside to me, and the person will be so so happy. The next point is act of services. So services might be checking up on the person, visiting the person. I think buying gifts so buying gifts, going out with the person, you know giving the person advices, encouraging them when they are down, sharing opinions, um, asking them for their opinions, you know, whatever I want to do. Yeah, these are love languages. And guys, this is the end of today's video. And if you have some other love languages that I might have talked about, because these are the ones I know and I've shared it. So just let me know in the comment section. And see you in my next video. Bye.